everybody. Welcome to another edition of Gamecock Rewind. I'm Derek Scott. When South Carolina welcomed Arkansas to williams Bryce Stadium for homecoming, it was a beautiful day as folks joined in on the Gamecock walk and then made their way into the stadium to see the Hogs and the Gamecocks. Mint Carolina's defense had to be ready to go with the explosive Arkansas offense on the field. And the man that stepped up and set the tone was none other than senior safety DJ Swearinger. Watch him make big hits and big plays as you enjoy another edition of Gamecock Rewind. Chamber of Commerce Day at williams Bryce Stadium, 68 degrees, wind not a factor, and let's go down to the third member of our broadcast team, Marty Snyder. Well, Tim, it's the first game for South Carolina without their star running back, Marcus Lattimore. Many of you have seen the injury two weeks ago against Tennessee, officially a dislocated knee for Lattimore. It's the same injury Willis McGahee had in college. Now, doctors thought it would take two surgeries to fix everything. They got it all done in one. And while he's not physically here, he is here in spirit. You see the name Harold Green coming down the name Marcus Lattimore going up recognizing him as South Carolina's all-time touchdown rushing leader you know talk to coach Spurrier about it he says Lattimore has a terrific spirit about things and he said you would be hard-pressed to find a young man in this country that's been through all he's been through Tim and has a better attitude than Marcus Lattimore no question he is a, a wonderful human being and like so many that we've seen come through the SEC likely has a future beyond Columbia. You look at the series history between these two now, they both joined the league in 92. Some of those meetings were as non-conference opponents. But lately, Arkansas has owned this series. While the Gamecocks have been dominant against their rivals within the Eastern Division, they've struggled some. And Tyler Wilson has had a lot to do with that in recent years. The Gamecock defense has struggled against the Razorbacks. There you see Adam Yates preparing to kick it off number eight for South Carolina, senior. And uh, back deep is Nate Holmes, number 22, for the Razorbacks. Holmes decides to take the knee, and the ball will come out to the 25-yard line. That's where Arkansas will take over. Ronnie Wingo is coming to the game. Out of the shotgun, Wilson with some pressure, and there's Hamilton. He has it at the 30 and should have the first down by defensive coordinator Lorenzo Ward with the back end of this South Carolina defense for today's game. There's the quick pitch. It goes to Nate Holmes. And he is rustled down at the 43-yard line. Put him in the slot, put him in motion. They'll create matchups to get him the football. 32, Jonathan Williams is in the backfield now, protecting for Wilson. Throws it to the wide side of the field to Johnson, stopped in his tracks at the 45 by Jimmy Legree. And Dennis Johnson with old setback, first and 10. Clowney pops through, and you can see the reaction from Wilson as he dumps it out to Mikel McKay. Holding offense, number 71. The penalty is 10 yards from the spot. It remains first half. <laughs> he got some real happy feet when he saw number seven pop through. After the penalty, the swing pass is out to Dennis Johnson. And he is knocked down at the 35-yard line. Swearing here, the first to get there. Third down and 22. And by the way, just because you see that call more in this league doesn't mean it's not the proper call. I think it goes, it's missed by a lot of other crews. Wilson finally grabbed after some pressure flushed from the pocket and Chaz Sutton number 90 makes the tackle the junior from Savannah Georgia Pass is caught by Justice Cunningham the tight end and he moves ahead to the 30 yard line they have been banged up at that position. And Kenny Miles will take it off the left side. He's got the first down and then some. Ahead to the 38-yard line. A lot of twin tight end alignments for Steve Spurrier with this team. That was a floater. And that was a beautiful catch by Cunningham. Put where only he could catch it. What an athletic maneuver by this tight end. A 26-yard game. Well, this is a phenomenal catch. Not a great throw by Connor Shaw, but you can say he gave Justice Cunningham a chance to make a play on this ball. Incredible adjustment. And 
the, the safeties for Arkansas split left the middle of the field wide open. A great job of seeing that and having the right route called. And then a super catch by Justice Cunningham. Plenty of time for Shaw. That pass is caught by Miles coming out of the backfield. Second and 15. Over the middle, once again, the tight end touchdown. That's Jarrell Adams with the catch, number 89, the freshman from Pinewood, South Carolina. This was a very close game. Uh, we had some good fortune. They had a penalty that took back about a 40, 50 yard pass. And here's a play, we're gonna run Jarrell Adams right, right down the middle here, hoping they're playing the two deep zone, which they were. And as you can see, uh, he's pretty much open down there. Boy, Jarrell's a big target. Mm -hmm. Every time he gets to the middle of the field, he seemed to make a play this year. Connor sliding in the pocket, but right on the mark. Yeah, just keep him right in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess the two deep zone, if you get a guy down the middle, that's obviously where you try to throw it. Gates is in for the extra point. So Gerald Adams on the receiving end. I am where memories come at full speed. Here with me, families bond together and friendships are forged by tradition. I am the place you call home. And on game day, inside my walls is exactly where you belong. Because in the end, Carolina, I am forever to thee. 2013 Gamecock football season tickets are on sale now. And again, pressure cloudy. As uh, Wilson was just rolling right into the welcoming arms of number seven. Well, th there are not many people in the in the college football world watch right here that's today the Clint, top of your screen he's got the ability to make tyler wilson read that play and he read it as a watch right he's going to crash down and tyler wilson's read is if he crashes down i keep the football but today and clowney is a good enough athlete to take away both I would not run the read option of Jadavion Clowney again today. So the bye week came at the right time. He's moving his players around, giving some looks that he is sure that Arkansas has not seen before. A lot of those movement changes include Jadavion Clowney and safety DJ Swearinger. Lorenzo Ward said they need to know where those two guys are all day or they're going to be free all day. Ronnie Wingo is coming to the game, and there's the quick pass to Mikel McKay. And McKay has it inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Ball game. It's only 7-0 right now, but Arkansas has not done much yet with the football. Wilson is six for his last six. This time, it's Jonathan Williams, number 32, and he burrows inside the 40 down to the 38-yard line. For the roughing the passer penalty, but he's going to make his presence felt. On second and four, that pass is caught by McKay, and he's inside the 15-yard line. Swearinger trips him up. Look at the Verizon red zone. Arkansas has scored a touchdown on 53% of their trips into the red zone. That ranks ninth in the SEC. Here's Johnson on the stretch play. And he's got it just inside the 10-yard line. Williams and Johnson in the backfield. And that's Johnson ahead, again ahead to the five-yard line, about a yard shy, maybe a little more, of the first down. Well, one thing the Razorbacks have done in this series is they've run downhill. Johnson again, and Morgan Linton in the backfield. And Dennis Johnson with some second effort, a little closer to the fourth fumble of the football. It's loose. And it appears that, uh, well, I... It appears that uh, Tyler Wilson was saying it should have been blown dead, but the indication is it's South Carolina football. Well, initially, my initial reaction is that Tyler Wilson might be right, but we're going to look at it a little closer. I don't know if, this, if his knee was down before the ball pops out. No. 
No, it was not. I Bowens with the recovery. You could see Johnson was on top of the defender. It's going to be reviewed. The ground cannot cause a fumble. Remember that, Tim. Let's see what happened. He's got both hands on the ball. Did it pop out before the ball hit the ground? That's the question I want to have answered. Well, a big break for the Gamecocks as Arkansas was in scoring ground. And Mike Davis takes it up to the right side, ahead for about three. Third down and seven here for South Carolina. Davis, the lone sack back. They're in the shotgun. Pressure off the left side, and Shaw is sacked back at the three-yard line. Dennis Johnson is the lone setback as Arkansas sets up again in great field position. Wilson with plenty of time, and that pass is caught. The favorite target, Hamilton's got it at the 22-yard line. Nate Holmes in the backfield. He takes the quick pitch towards the boundary and is rustled down in a hurry by Aldrich Fordham. Tyler Wilson, eight straight completions. Let's see if he can keep his drive going. Underneath again. Number 15, or 19, Javante Herndon on the receiving end of that pass. Wilson, right over the middle, and it's caught by Hatcher. Touchdown, Arkansas. And I'll tell you what, Tyler Wilson took a shot from Jadavian Clowney as he let go of that football. This is what makes this kid special, though. Watch him stand in there, totally exposed, make the throw, and take the shot from Jadavian Clowney. Arkansas has the ball. Carolina has the ball. Kenny Miles pops outside, and he's ahead to the 35-yard line. This is a very big third down for South Carolina. Their defense has been on the field a long time. And there's a fade for Ellen Kennedy. He's got it set free. And a nice tackle by McKinney to save the touchdown inside the 30-yard line. We've got um, I'm, I'm just, they moved me to the outside, you know. And um, I'm running the same routes that uh, I did. So I'm just getting open. And uh, Connor's doing a great job in passing me the ball. So I'm just, you know, happy to be getting the ball. Connor Shaw did a great job. Identifying the blitz and making the big play on the outside. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense number 57. Miles will take it, finds his way to the 11 yard line. Pickup of three, Byron Jones the stop. Now, before that 36 yard gain, South Carolina had been stuck. They'd only gained 14 yards after the opening drive. So that was a huge pass play to Wellington. Out of the shotgun. Not a designed run, but a good opportunity for him to tuck it and run, and he gets it down to about the 10. Ellington is down at the bottom of your screen. Shaw, this looked to be a design run, didn't it? He's, He's going to sure take did. it in. Touchdown. Connor Shaw back in this red zone where he's so good running the football, or at least being an option for you to run the football, Coach. Exactly. I think this was a uh, either second goal or something like that. I knew it was getting late here. It might have been third down. Ooh. And he comes out of this, uh, I think we had a, sort of a quarterback draw or something on here. Yep. Blocked by Kenny Miles. Kenny Miles picked that guy, and he outruns this one. Bruce, we're hoping Bruce didn't get this guy tied up. He did a little bit, and uh, Connor got it in there. He had the, the ability of a quarterback to run, especially down in, around the red zone, is, is very good for our team. Connor's had a bunch of touchdown runs on uh, quarterback draw play. Bunch of first downs as well. Mm -hmm. well. A great job by Kenny Miles. I remember this play now where it looked like he was going to help out on the... Yeah. Well, what he, he's got the linebacker. Well, is this guy or this guy the linebacker? So he looked at him first, and he said, well, the tackle's got him, so I'll go to the next one. And he picked him and really didn't have anybody for this guy. Well, actually, our center's trying to come up for him, but he, he's going the other way. But fortunately, he takes a little bit of a bad angle, mm -hmm. and there goes Connor. I am where memories come at full speed. Here with me, families bond together 
and friendships are forged by tradition. I am the place you call home. And on game day, inside my walls is exactly where you belong. Because in the end, Carolina, I am forever to thee. 2013 Gamecock football season tickets are on sale now. Let's see if uh, they can have a return to Cinder here on this series. Dennis Johnson is the lone setback. Passes to the back shoulder and a beauty to Hamilton. That is textbook. Talk about getting it out quickly. He did that time. The pump fake and a beauty. And on the long crossing pattern, Julian Horton has it at the 20-yard line. And Kobe Hamilton right there at the bottom, one-on-one. -on -one. And it's McKay up at the top. He's got it at the 15. Great cut. Now he goes outside and is down at the three-yard line. Wilson has 156 yards in the air in this quarter alone. Linton and Johnson, the running backs. And Dennis Johnson has stopped behind the line of scrimmage this time, closer to the four, although I think they'll mark his uh, forward progress ahead to about the three, so no game. Johnson, the lone setback. Play back, and that pass is going to be airmailed incomplete. And he steps up more than he does it. There he is, passes incomplete. They went with a slant, and it was knocked away. Beautifully done by Akeem Augusti. Hawker, who has been outstanding from 20 yards away, boots it through. Well, we felt that Arkansas was coming into this game ready to play. We, we, I, I really believe it's going to go down to the final, final minutes of the ball game. Gilchrist and Miles are the setbacks. Shaw. Gets away from initial pressure and checks it down to Miles for a gain of a couple of yards, and that's about it. Pick up a four on that last play, so it's second and six. Shaw goes with a screen this time to Miles. Well set up. And he Miles gets it into Arkansas territory. Very well set up. And the key block by Ronald Patrick, the guard. Gets out there in front, knocks his man down. That pops Kenny Miles down the sideline. Very good play call at the right time. 44 receiving yards for Miles. Again, very patient, waiting for that hole to open up. This is a very important part of this game here because if they don't get the first down and you give Wilson a relatively short field, look out. Well, you, you, you're going to give him the relatively short field if you don't get it, but that shows his confidence that he does have in the Rose Award in that defense. Shaw throwing for a wide open Ellington. Yeah, the head ball coach had a good idea. Touchdown. <laughs> We've seen it on film. They were in a two, uh, cover two zone blitz. Saw the saw the blitz, ducked under it, and and uh, Bruce actually made a heads up play of seeing the cover two. He sat down in the hole. If it had kept running, the safety would have covered it. So uh, it was good you know, heads up play by Bruce. This was a big play in the game here. This uh, they're doing one of these one of these funky defenses where you blitz a guy from way out here, which. A lot of times doesn't make a lot of sense. This is right before the half, Coach. I think this was, uh, this might have been a fourth down play. I'm not sure, but we had a guy going down the middle, which I thought he was going to throw at him, but he saw nobody was guarding Bruce down here. So he threw it to Bruce, and Bruce takes it on in for a touchdown. It was a fourth down play. He goes for 42 yards, and another good job of Connor Shaw with he not sure the perfect pocket. He sure did, yeah. This guy, we don't block this guy for some reason. Uh, but Connor's able to sidestep him and get up there in there and make the throw. Another game with a team that scores a lot of offense. You needed all the points you could get. This is, it comes at a crucial time. Kelsey Quarles and Sutton and those guys are also above 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, a lot of height in that forward wall. Well, that's a beautiful call. Dennis Johnson on the draw. Those short, choppy steps I was talking about. Out to the near, nearly the 40-yard line. Haven't heard from Kobe Hamilton lately, have we? Wilson under duress and sacked back at the 50. That's a loss of five and fourth down coming up. 
Aldrich Fordham got there, number 57. Well, I was watching Dave, Jadavian Clowney at the bottom right-hand side of your screen right there. He gets hit by about four guys on this play trying to get in to Tyler Wilson, but the pressure was coming from other way. Watch right the, at the right-hand side. He's watched one, two people hit Jadavian Clowney, then he gets cleaned up there at the end. And then if it becomes a tip ball situation, knocks it down. Again, more pressure and yet another sack. Sutton gets through again, big number 90, the junior from Savannah. And that will do it for the first half. But then let's go down to Marty Snyder, who's got Steve Spurrier. Well, Steve, fourth and six from the 50, is that exactly how you drew it up? And how much confidence that give the guys? Oh, I don't know. We've uh, we've only had five possessions. Fortunately, we scored three of them. <laughs> Made a bunch of third downs. Uh, Arkansas is playing well, and uh, we've hung on defensively to hold them to ten. But we got to play a lot better uh, in a lot of areas if we're going to end up winning this thing. Thanks, Steve. Okay, Tim. Still some concern from Spurrier, and understandably so. Our score: twenty-one to ten. Score at halftime, 21 to 10. South Carolina with the lead over Arkansas. Well, the guy that we've not heard a thing from, really, in this South Carolina offense to this point is A. Sanders. Yes, and, then, and, and you know, we asked Connor Shaw who his go-to guy was. He said, without hesitation, A. Sanders. So they'll find a way to work him into the ball game, I'm sure. Right away, a quick flanker screen to Ellington. He's down ahead for a first down. All told of offense. On second down. Shaw looking for, guess who? A. Sanders. Right into Arkansas territory at the 48-yard line. That's a 15-yard pitch and catch. And he's going to make, make a defense play on us, no doubt. On first down, Miles. Nice read on the part of Kenny Miles to take it to the outside. That was not designed to go in that direction. He manages seven on it. Kenny Miles almost popped it. That could have gone the distance. Second and ten. Blitz. Razzler coming off the edge. Shaw got away. And uh, discretion sometimes a better part of dollar. He'll duck under at the 28-yard line, a gain of two. Sanders in the slot up at the top. And take the option pitch, and Connor Shaw is about three yards shy of the first down. Stopped at the 23-yard line. You see Adam Yates setting up for a 41-yard field goal try. Seven of ten on the season, as we mentioned earlier. Out of the hole to Seth Strickland, and it's right through the uprights. There's the pitch to Holmes. And Nate Holmes off the edge is dragged down at the 30 and marker down. I think we got a face mask or a horse collar, one yes. or the other. I think you're right. Uh, DJ Swearinger had him wrapped up. Ken Williamson, our referee, will no doubt tack on the extra yardage here. Personal foul. Horse collar tackle, defense number 12. The penalty is 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. It really appeared to be swearing that it was guilty of the horse collar before the hit by Williams. And Herndon has really popped, and another marker comes down. That might be a helmet to helmet. Fans are going to really be upset. Swearinger, a big time hitter, as you know. But if that is deemed helmet to helmet, and it may be. Personal foul, defense number 36, contact above the shoulders to the player. 15 yards, automatic, first down. We're going to look at it at regular speed here, Steve. Well, th this is one of those where a great job bouncing up by Herndon to get back up. But they're perfectly played by South Carolina. Did oh. they do it? That looked to me like it was a shoulder in the chest. And uh, to the shoulder pad, it was a jolting blow, and there's an interception! Taken away, South Carolina with the pick! D.J. Swellinger all the way! And, you know, in the first two uh, penalties, you know, it's just me playing football. You know, just instincts. Uh, 
I actually on a hit, you know, I actually tried to turn and, you know, leave with my shoulder. But, you know, it, in the speed of the game, it's hard for the refs to see that. And um, on the pick six, you know, it's, it's a sort of a stress reliever, you know, from both the penalties. You know, I just got it in the end zone and, you know, it just having, all having fun and it was sort of a stress reliever. So I, you know, just tossed the ball. Ball to two significant plays back to back. Here's the big one right here. He's on the outside. He's going to bait Tyler Wilson into throwing this out. He times it perfectly and just picks it off clean, takes it back to the house. He can't play it any better than that. I think Tyler Wilson really thought that he had nothing but field in front of his receiver. Instead, he's looking at the heels of DJ Swearinger. I am where memories come at full speed. Here with me, families bond together and friendships are forged by tradition. I am the place you call home. And on game day, inside my walls is exactly where you belong. Because in the end, Carolina, I am forever to thee. 2013 Gamecock football season tickets are on sale now. His second career interception return for a touchdown. You talk about into, the, into every play, he had the horse collar, right? Then he had the illegal hit. <laughs> then he has the pick and the unsportsmanlike for throwing the ball into the end zone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the kick to Nate Holmes. And he's got to bring it out. And he's up to the 25-yard line. Well, this crowd is into it now. Tyler Wilson was able to silence them for much of the first half. Let's see what he can do here. Dennis Johnson. Nothing. Bouncing out. Jadavion Clowney will take him down three yards behind the line of scrimmage. Well, all the film we've ever seen of Jadavion Clowney, I've never seen anybody from high school, and I've seen film of him in high school. I've seen film in college. I've never seen anybody get to the edge on him when he's not been double teamed or, or pinned inside somehow. No one can get to the edge of speed. He can close the gap so quickly. He just can't do it. Suck it down here. And Manziel may push the freshman button for sure for the downtown athletic club. As you see, Jonathan Williams scamper lost the ball as he hit the turf, but it's recovered by Keon Hatcher, number four. And A.J. McCarron and Manziel on display on CBS Next. Johnson on the check down, takes it from Wilson. Stop forward progress marked at the 36-yard line. Swearinger. You could tell what it meant to him. Yeah. You could see the emotion that he felt after completing that drive. Second and five. Wilson. He's nicked up, but what a courageous quarterback he is. Swearinger with a shoestring tackle at the 29-yard line, a gain of seven. And he's got a lot of talent to go along with it. Jonathan Williams cuts it back. What a great move. And he stopped at the 10. Another freshman you'll be hearing a lot of. Wilson with time. Gets it out to Hatcher, number four, the freshman who has a touchdown catch today. Head for three yards. He has a little cushion, but Fletcher is a little bit of double. Williams wearing the stretch. And he's run out of bounds by Devontae Holloman, who's been very active today playing that strong safety spot. Yeah, Devontae Holloman really did a good job coming up supporting this. He was in a, what would be considered a quarters position by the safety, which means he's he's got run support if there's run his way. He's coming from his quarter deep position, and he's got to get up there and make that tackle right there. He anticipated it very well. Let's take a look at the Verizon red zone. And we'll see Arkansas has had three possessions today, one touchdown, one field goal. And it has, been, it has not been an area of strength all year for this Arkansas ball club. Wilson's pass to Hamilton will be stopped short at the four-yard line. Shaq Wilson shadowing him all the way. He has a 20-yarder looking for a 21-yarder here as Hawker. Not many are more efficient than him in college football. Yeah. 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 
He'll take it. Bounces it outside. And has run down. That was a really nice play by Trey Flowers, number 86. Mike Davis is now in the backfield. That's a quarterback draw all the way for Shaw. And he's got it up to the 33-yard line. Crowd responding as Alfred Davis took him down, thinking maybe he had been uh, horse collared a bit. I think we do have a we do have a flag down. Personal foul, horse collar tackle, defense number 51. Razorbacks need a stop, or maybe even better yet, a takeaway here. Well, that's a marvelous play fake by the quarterback, right up the gut. Goes Mike Davis, and that's another first down. Well, Mike Davis almost breaks this one if it's not for a, a, a touchdown saving tackle right there at the top by Rohan Gaines, or at least slowed him down. On third down. Wow, open is Anderson. Rory Anderson. Bust a move. Stopped by Otha Peters. Well, again, victimizing the, the young linebacker, Otha Peters, number five. You see him trail. He just got a step behind, took a bad angle. One thing a linebacker needs to learn, if you're not in great position, you've got to assume that ball's going to be completed. Give yourself an angle to make the play and make, at least make the tackle. Davis bouncing off tacklers. They run the option. It was right there for Davis. We saw a little bit of everything on that drive, Timmy. Boy, does uh, Wilson need a Kobe Hamilton hookup at some point. You can. Nothing doing for Dennis Johnson. Gamecocks really getting the job done. Kelsey Quarles, number 99. Uh, the defense all day has been answering the bell, Timmy. Again, we see this fumble. It was, that was, I think, one of the key plays. It's not the key play of the game for Arkansas. And then another chance to score down in the red zone. Batted away by South Carolina in the big interception return by D.J. Swearinger. That was kind of the nail in the coffin, if you ask me. And that's why this crowd is buzzing right now. Third and 27. Wilson's pass is tipped. Austin Tate, the intended receiver, incomplete. That well, wouldn't matter to me if they were undefeated or all of them had a loss between now and the end of the year. One playing four and two playing three is not a bad idea. Right. Davis, Davis off the right side. Inside the 45 to the 43, we'll call it a gain of four. Alfred Davis makes the stop, number 51. Take a look at the last four possessions for the Gamecocks. They have been very productive. That, that is pretty impressive. Uh, no less than six plays per drive. All of them 50 yards or more ending up in points. That's a good offensive football right there. And an interception touchdown to go along with that to take command of this game in the third quarter. Again, the late first half score was the key on that fourth down play by Spurrier when Shaw found Ellington. On second and six, Davis tripped up. Good penetration and a late flag coming in. Trey Flowers made the stop. There is no foul on the play. The formation was legal. South Carolina's going to run down to yeah. the end of the quarter. Yeah, why not? They have taken control of this game in the third, and it started at the end of the second. 38-13, our score. We'll return to William Price Stadium after this message. I am where memories come at full speed. Here with me, families bond together, and friendships are forged by tradition. I am the place you call home. And on game day, inside my walls is exactly where you belong. Because in the end, Carolina, I am forever to thee. 2013 Gamecock football season tickets are on sale now. Third down and eight is the open play here in the fourth quarter. Shaq pass, caught. That's Shaq Rowland. 
this win today, if, if South Carolina can hang on, it would be the second year in a row South Carolina has won six games in the SEC. Never been done before. They've been dominating the East. Six sure. and two again is not bad. Uh, Twelve and four last couple of years. Uh, but we'd really like to win that one next week. Uh, that one, uh, uh, to thank in mean, the history of school, I don't believe we've ever won seven home games. Is that right, Glenn? Okay. So if we can win seven at home here uh, for the first time ever, that would be something to say, hey, we did something never been done before. At the 17 by Tevin Mitchell, number eight. I think in this second half, the key has been the running game for South Carolina. They've found a way to really get the field spread exactly like they want it to give their running backs, Kenny Miles and Mike Davis, an opportunity to get up in the seams, really unobstructed up through those big seams and then up the field for big gains. It's, a, it's really been fun to watch the way they designed this running game in the second half. Shaw looking for the corner and it's picked off. Kevin Mitchell. And he gets it. And is ahead for seven. Ball comes out late. And Tyler Wilson there to get on top of it. It really began to spiral out of control. Williams on the swing pass looking for a little help as he cuts against the grain. A lot of activity to maybe pick up a yard or two. As you said earlier in the telecast, Dylan Thompson uh, came up with a mysterious tricep <laughs> muscle strain that he, he says it happened in his sleep and uh, been confirmed. Just woke up with it. And the handoff is to Mike Davis. And he's ahead to the 47 yard line. In the flanker screen going out to Shaq Rowland. And he's down to the 47 yard line of Arkansas. I think he really believes that Dylan is better throwing the deep ball than Connor is for sure. Right, right. He, yeah. he just really likes the way he stands. The ball comes out of his hand up the field. Second down on 11. And you see uh, Davis ahead for a couple of yards. And he just says, you know what? I can do this. He said, we've thrown him some balls. A couple of them gone off his helmet. Yeah. <laughs> off the shoulder pad. He's pretty good, though. <laughs> Play fake is to. Miles and he takes it ahead to about the 35. No gain. Well, I think Johnny Manziel is just young enough, just confident enough, just inexperienced enough to not be intimidated by that stage. And I think he's looking forward to it. Thompson on the crossing pattern incomplete. Pass was a little high for Rory Anderson. And now uh, Adam Yates is going to try a very long field goal of 52 yards. Looked like it may be drawing, but not enough. Just wide to the right. Thirty-eight to thirteen, our score. South Carolina with the lead, six seventeen remaining, along with Marty Snyder and Steve Berline, Tim Brando here at Williams Bryce Stadium. After the missed field goal, the Razorbacks take over at their 35 yard line. And Wilson sends Dennis Johnson in motion and swings it out to him. Looking for a block. And is wrestled down at the 41, maybe the 42 yard line by Swearinger. On second down, Johnson right up the middle to the 50. Well, I think it, it, it makes them feel good about if, if they did suffer a loss, at least it was to the best team in the country. You know, yeah, or it, absolutely. They take a lot of pride in the, the, the power across the board in that southeast Oh, what a beautiful pass, but it looks like Augusti came down with it. That thing stayed in the air a little longer than Tyler expected. And Akeem Augusti came down with the pick. That's as good as a punt in a lot of ways. But I think that one just got away from Tyler. Well, I think uh, as much as anything, too, at this point in the game, Tim, he's just trying to give his number one playmaker, Kobe Hamilton, a chance to make the play. And you got to give South Carolina a lot of credit. Only four catches for Kobe yeah. Hamilton. With five and change remaining in our game. And Blue's going to take the pitch. On second and ten. Blue. Ahead for almost 10 yards. Third down, a yard to go for the game guys. And 
And behind the line of scrimmage that time, Lowry, Blair Lowry is stopped. Tyler Wilson, after a 192-yard performance in the first half, just 45 yards and two interceptions in the second. Jonathan Williams, the safety valve, takes it out of the backfield and is ahead to the 48-yard line. you got to give credit to Lorenzo Ward, the game plan he's put together to limit the throwing opportunities to, to, to Kobe Hamilton. This is the guy that has had 23 catches in the last two games. He had a 300-yard game. He had his 10 receptions a game. Nice move by Keon Hatcher after the catch. We uh, hope to have a chance to, to chat with him between now and that uh, day after Thanksgiving game that we have here on CBS Sports. That pass incomplete intended for Mikhail McKay. And produce and then be considered for that position. Whether or not he will, will, will remain to be seen. But you're right, it gives him plenty of time to, to find the right person for the job. Jonathan Williams grabs it. But then again, they're just a couple of coaches away from having had an Arkansas as their head coach. Jonathan Williams ahead to about the 25-yard line. Before Bobby Petrino came in and, and take and really took this program to new heights. Austin Tate with that reception. Uh, and some of the key injuries and other issues that came up, too hard to overcome. Especially to Wilson in the opening game. Williams inside the 10 to about the 8. He's not going to let his team quit on him. He wants to go out at least fight. Wilson's got a wide open receiver and it's caught for a touchdown. Demetrius Wilson, number 81. And Tyler Wilson with yet another touchdown pass. Oh, this is a really nice job by Demetrius Wilson working the back of the end zone and Tyler Wilson finally finding, finding him in the back of the end zone. You see him moving to his right a little bit. Demetrius Wilson, big target in the back of the end zone, gave him a spot to put that football. Well, both uh, he and Keon Hatcher have their first receptions as touchdowns as Razorbacks this year. Hawker will try for the extra point. 39 seconds remaining in this one. The South Carolina Gamecocks lead it by a score of 38 to 20. Looking for a very high third bounce. And the hands team is waiting for the Gamecocks. Well, it came a little bit late. So the ball bounced right back into him. Alabama was Small fooled on that play. Receivers at the spot on the touching. First down. Yeah. So they'll have the ball going the other way. Well, you know, that was a great illustration of the coaching job that Steve Spurrier and his staff do right there. That ball, you, you, those South Carolina players, you can always tell in an onside situation, teams that are well coached, because those guys knew the ball had not gone 10 yards. They did not get anywhere near it. A lot of teams, sometimes guys will panic and try and jump on that ball. Yeah. No hesitation. None of those guys even got close to the football. Good the, job. The Arkansas kids didn't want to touch it, but ultimately I think they felt like they right. had to. Right. Clock winding down. The Gamecocks are going to be along with, as we mentioned, uh, LSU, one of the top ranked in the BCS standings. Two lost teams in the country. Without a chance to go to Atlanta, Georgia... Already in position for that for the second consecutive year, even though the Gamecocks would have beaten the Bulldogs in the regular season. And Jacob Baker takes it again on what is the final play of the game. Head ball coach gets another win. Looking to get an 11th win for the second straight year. For Steve Berline and Marty Snyder, this is Tim Brando saying so long for, from Columbia. Or once again, our final score, 38-20. to 20.